Hey, it's Jason Kravitz back here uh, at the Esquire Live Lounge here at Dad 2.0 2016 edition in Washington, D.C., my old hometown and your hometown. Mm -hmm. This is Brent Dalmond, if you don't know already, and uh, Designer Daddy, as we, uh, as he likes to be known. Yes? <laughs> yeah, I guess. that's true. So if, let's get this out of the way right now. Uh, what's it like having Dad 2.0 in your backyard for a change? It's interesting. I mean, um, in one sense, it's like I'm not excited to go see all the sites. I mean, I still like I still like going to all the sites and stuff, but but I didn't have to pay for airplanes. So that was awesome. That's also a good thing. And, uh, what uh, what what one thing in DC do you recommend for people to do that uh, come visit? One thing that you think would be off the beaten path that they haven't seen? Um, I think I think I mean kind of a broad thing. I would say go check out the monuments at night. Yeah. But a specific thing um, would be to go to the FDR and the Korean Memorial at night. Yeah. Both of those are really incredible to see, and um, I think people don't think of them. I and mean, FDR is newer, but they're both just really Yeah, I totally awesome. concur with that. I think those are great <laughs> selections. Well done. Uh, that's it. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> now, you've been doing something um, interesting this year. You've been doing uh, superhero uh, lunch notes. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Um, I actually, I was thinking, I was like, what am I going to talk about this year? Uh, I, I, I think I mentioned it last year, mm -hmm. but I had been doing it for, I think I've been doing it for about a year then. Right. Um, but then right after, at that 2.0 last year, I talked with um, Morgan Shanahan, who is an editor at BuzzFeed, and she's like, oh, send me your notes. We'll put them on site. Um, and that was like less than a month after that 2.0. Mm. And they went nuts. It was like my first super viral thing. and. Got to be on Australian TV with my son and is that right? Yep, <clears throat> my my satellite. But uh, so that was a lot of fun and and I have gotten a, uh, even got a book offer. Really? So For I'm, the notes? That's fantastic. Well, there's a lot of copyright issues, but it'll right. be something different. Um, so I'd, I'm working on a children's book. Okay. But it's not related to the notes, but it's because of the notes. Because but, of the notes, yeah. so that got you going. Is there a um, was the BuzzFeed thing the way you went viral, or did you feel like there was something else you did for people who were like, how do you go viral? I want to go viral. Everybody wants to go viral. Uh, well, I think part of it is just having, um, you know, for me, it was never, it was it's probably not ever going to be something controversial I've written or hot topic or whatever, but it was, uh, I think, just having the visuals to it, um, something visual that people can share. And, right. And, um, so it, I think for me that was kind of the key, and the fact that I was doing it consistently and had a lot of stuff to choose from. Yeah, you know? yeah. But um, and in terms of, you know, I think uh, people ask me like, I remember calling people like, what should I do? What should I do? And like, oh, we'll have this, 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 and this a place. You know, like have your about page. Right. You know, and your contact information. Make and, sure you, you know, get all your, <laughs> I don't know, what your particulars. You have your right Twitter. You have the, the Twitter name. You have the Instagram name. Yeah. You have the. All those things you have to have all those in order, right? Yeah, and I had all that, but it was, um, it was, uh, yeah, it was more just kind of I was like having to find out. Okay, am I if I say yes to this person, do I have yeah. to say no to the other one? And, oh, I see. Because sometimes they would say, "Oh, well, talk to us first before you talk to so and so." And, right. Well, it's um, nice to be in demand. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. <laughs> For Fifteen minutes. A little long. Fifteen minutes. But. <laughs> no, but you have a book deal, and that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Anything else going on with Designer Daddy that we need to know about? Um. Well. How old is your son now? He's six. Okay. He's six. He just started kindergarten this year. Great. Um, so I'm kind of writing a little bit less about him mm -hmm. directly and trying to write kind of more about parenting in general and um, and also last this last, since we talked last mm -hmm. um, they legalized same sex marriage so that was a huge thing. I've heard that. Yeah. Yeah. And somewhere uh, around here, somewhere in this yeah. area, I think they did that. Yeah. Yes. And actually. Um, I, t I took my son out of school on that day, and we took a field trip down to the Supreme Court. Did you? Yeah, oh, that was amazing. really awesome. Um, and so, I mean, that's that's one of the best things about living in this area, being around for that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and you know, so that's that must have been a really powerful day that he will barely remember. I'm getting just right now, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you'll tell him about it over and over and over again. It was really that must have been really special. Yeah, it was, and there was a. Um, there was a woman there who um, writes for a, a Chinese online kind of like Facebook type thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she took some pictures of us, and there was one of us where we were walking hand in hand out of the Supreme Court building, and she sent it to me, and you know, oh, it was amazing. That's, um, that's fantastic. So, yeah. Well, that sounds amazing. Uh, and I'm looking forward to finding out whatever 
happens with this uh, book situation. I'd like to read it. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever I've, it is, I'm sure it's going to be great. Yeah. And how often do you blog? How often do you write? Um, well, I like I like to put something up at least once a week. I mean, things, things like that to point are great for me because it's kind of a time to reboot and look at everything and kind of maybe come up with ideas for new content or things to get rid of. Because I, you know, I've talked to some of the guys like, oh, well, I want to rebrand my site yeah. before I did that 2.0. I'm like, well, why don't you wait until after? Oh, yeah? You may get some new ideas. Right. You know, nobody's going to be here really looking all over your blog anyway. They're here at the conference, and then right. Um, let's get, take some good ideas, and then from there, you know, you might have something yeah, totally exactly. new you never thought of that you want to do. Um, so I mean, that's that's why I like this, just kind of coming and refreshing and. It is. Talking to people in person. Yeah, you get to really get a lot of new ideas for what you're dealing for whatever blog you're doing, whatever page you've got, whatever site you're working on. It's, um, I, I've been very inspired by a lot of the people here, and yourself included. So for those people who don't know, please tell them how to uh, find you. How can they find you? Uh, well, I'm online as at designer da designerdaddy.com, and that's the Designer Daddy at Twitter and Facebook and Pinterest and Instagram and also Super Lunch Notes on Instagram. Super Lunch Notes on Instagram. Yeah, I will remember that one too. Thank you, thank you, Brent. Um, and uh, sign our sign. Sure. Uh, here's a pen. All right. And uh, we'll be right back uh, with more Dad 2.0 2016, the DC version. Take care.